Hello and welcome to lesson number 34. This is the first lesson in the series on this topic, Computers in Banking and E-Commerce. In this series, we will explore how computers are used in banking and e-commerce. We will also look at other emerging technologies in the field of banking and e-commerce. By the end of this particular lesson, you should associate the use of computers to organize, retrieve, and process data. Computers are multi-purpose machines that can be used to accomplish various tasks. This lesson is going to focus on the use of computers to organize, retrieve, and process data. In order for the computer to store information effectively, it organizes it into computer files. Files can be generated using different computer programs and can be stored on user-preferred storage media, such as internal and external hard drives, CDs, DVDs, or flash drives. Being smart machines, computers are used to store different types of information, such as images, music, text, and videos. As computers are used in banking and e-commerce, useful information is generated, organized into files, stored, and retrieved when the need arises. Computer systems organize and store information in form of specific files. Every computer program that is used to generate a computer file assigns what is known as file name and or file extension to the generated file for easier identification and operation. Some examples of files that can be generated by various computer programs as shown here. A file extension is a three or four letter identifier found at the end of the file name after the dot. File extensions may tell the characteristics of a file and its use. Some examples of file name extensions are .doc and .docx for text files, .xls and .xlsx for spreadsheet files, .mp3 and .wav for audio files, .mp4 and .mov for video files, .jpg and dot png for image files and dot pdf for portable document files In order to make information available and accessible, it is always best to organize computer files into folders. A folder is a virtual location for applications, documents, data, 
various files or other subfolders. This is an example of a computer folder. For good information management, it is always advisable to store related files in one folder. For instance, a banker may organize and store various files in folders named credit reports, bank statements, loan agreement forms, and so on. One can also create folders where to store music, movies, and other related files. You may also assign passwords to folders in order to improve access control. It is always good to store files of the same nature in one folder because folders are part of the computer directory system. A directory is a collection of files typically created for organizational purposes. A file can also be defined as a unit of information stored on the computer. Almost all operating systems have what is known as the basic root directory and it is usually named C in Windows OS. This is where system files that are required to start the computer are stored. Other directories are also assigned with other letters like D, E and so on. You should also note that files, folders, subfolders that are part of a directory are defined by parts. A path is a string of characters used to uniquely identify a location in a directory structure. It can also be defined as the root to a file on a storage device. Here is an example of a path. It starts with the name of the main device followed by the name of the drive. In this case, we have this PC as the main device where the drive C is housed. Next, we have the primary folder named Program Files, where the subfolder called Adobe is stored, on which another subfolder called Acrobat Reader DC is stored, where the HTML file README is stored. Summary. In this lesson, you learned that computers are used to organize, retrieve, and process data. You further learned that the computer organizes information in files and folders, and that files are usually generated by specific computer programs. Furthermore, you learned that files contain information that is generated by particular computer programs and that files can be identified by file name ends or file extensions. For example, .pdf for portable document files, .doc for text files, and so on. Lastly, you learned that files may be organized and stored in folders, and that folders, subfolders, and files are stored in directories which are defined by parts. Revision exercise. A. Give five reasons why you think computers are used to organize, retrieve, and process data. B. Define the following terms. Computer program, file, folder, directory, and path. C. 
What are advantages of using computers in banking and e-commerce?